I wonder how many people have actually been affected in Germany by ever seeing anybody in a face veil because that's something we need to bring back to uh, the UK and actually ask ourselves why is this such a troubling question? Um, I don't know, have you seen anybody or actually dealt in business with any woman in a veil recently? Is it a major concern for you? Well, I think it's probably different in London because it's very metropolitan mm. and you come across all sorts of, uh, of races, nationalities, beliefs and cultures in, in London. And what we need to remember over here I don't is... have a problem with it. Yeah. Um, I, I have a problem with people telling women how they should dress in order to fit in. I mean, I, do, I don't think we can have an equal society whilst telling people you have to be uh, dressing the same and being the same, but we can all work together. There's no well, problem James disagrees, and, uh, and uh, you disagree. A uh, uh, great many people agree with you and your thoughts. In a national poll, 57% of Brits back the ban. And our own poll this morning, and we've had 7,000 respondents, 83% agree that we should ban the burqa. OK, well, first of all, I'm not a member of the fashion police. And I, I mean, I've known Lauren, what, 20 odd years, and I, I don't mind how Lauren dresses. It's very nice. I mean, I don't see any difference to a, uh, anybody else, really. And well, she's not uh, that's dressing fine. for fashion. Well, she is, really, because that's a very fashion fashionable headscarf she's got. What I object to, and I think what a lot of people object to, the burqa is one thing. I mean, you know, we had that whole discussion about the burkini, which was stupid, wasn't can it, we really? Just make the difference between the burqa, the burqa yeah, and the face veil. We're talking well. about the face veil, I mm. think. And uh, there aren't that many people who are completely covered, but if you live in certain parts, of Manchester, certain parts of Yorkshire, certain parts of London, there are quite a lot of women who do want to cover up completely apart from their eyes. And I, I just, and I'll tell you why I don't think it's acceptable. Because I would like to know you, and I would like to, if I was living next door to you, I'd want to know your wife. If we were neighbours, we want to get together. You can't in this country, I don't think you can anywhere, I really don't know why anybody would want to keep their face covered. But if you keep your face covered, then that says, that you don't really want to have a relationship, you don't really want to know somebody, and that you're only prepared to uncover okay, your I'm, face I'm, I'm until you know somebody a, a little better. And I think that's, I think that's slightly patronising to those people who don't keep there'll, themselves... There'll be a lot of people yeah. who obviously will agree with James and will say that if you come to live here, then the way we recognise people, the way we communicate mm. initially is mm. through our eyes and our faces, and, and so therefore exactly. you should integrate yeah. with us. I think that's all very sensible. That's, a, that, 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 that's quite bright. Of course, that's the way we communicate. However, I wonder how today those few women, and it's not it a lot a of women, it's a few. You said earlier, yeah. I think quite a lot of women, you said in Manchester, it's well, there not, are areas where a say, lot of people would I know, be but, but like that. in proportion to the Muslim community, we have to mm. remember, it's something like less than 3 or 4% of Muslim women even choose to wear the veil. How are they feeling this morning? And how, is, how am I feeling as a Muslim in this country? Because I, we feel that you'll be coming for the headscarf next. Well, because the, this is about, surely, it's about conformity. It's not about sharing ideas at all, James. Actually, no, no. You want to be able to talk to people in your way. Mm. With, with, that makes you comfortable, but it doesn't matter about the other person being comfortable. Uh, I've got to, I'm going to say the debate comes in uh, in the week that a major government review said that segregation amongst British yeah. communities is at a worrying level. Uh, the Casey report highlighted the plight of women in some Muslim communities who said they were less likely to speak English, more likely to be kept at home. Mm. Uh, so we're not doing anything, certainly by saying, right, OK, I don't know how you police this, for instance. I have if there no is idea. A, if there, if I have there, no if idea. there is a, a, a woman walking but down the street, what do you do? Do you, do you do you take it off her, in which case well, I then you isolate people even would do further? That. I hope nobody would do that. I hope we would get to a situation in this country where people realise that the only way forward... And we listen, we, I think we're friends, aren't we're we? We're friends. Um, and we disagree about religion, but that we, we talk about other things. I think you have to get to a situation where we have to understand that because somebody wants to follow a particular religion, um, that is entirely up to them. But is... when, you, when your religion, wait a minute, when your religion says you can't mix with certain people, you can't do certain things, you can't... You're making and some huge of the... presumptions there. Is, is, is this about there. a religious dress or is it about the fact that your face is covered? Would you say I think to a two... nun walking down the street, and I find, I'm, I'm sorry, but, but that to me is, and you said a costume... Philip, I'm sorry, the is clip, it, is, but we're not talking take... about 
about numbers, Philip. We're talking about specifically this this report, which is all focused on the Muslim community. Well, no, and that's we a part to. of it. What yeah. we're talking about is the, the is, face is, is the face And I think Laura makes a, an interesting point. It's a very small percentage of Muslims who wear the face veil. And I was talking on my radio show on Talk Radio the other night to uh, an imam who said it's not even part of a Muslim tradition. It's part of a culture that came from Is a it down area. to just trust and security? It makes us frightened. Yes, I think that's the point. And actually what Angela Merkel said in the end of her speech, she said, it's not us, which means that Muslims are now, or people of faith who choose to dress a bit differently, we're not part of the mainstream. We're being told to integrate, mm. but in a very aggressive way. You can't say to someone, look, hang out with me and be like me, or I'm going to make your life really horrible. Nobody's trying to do that, Lauren. No, but that's nobody, how it feels. Well, I can, I can speak from that. within the but Muslim female community, there are quite a lot which is of, quite aggressive, there are the quite a lot coming of women out. Who, um, become Muslim, as you have, from yeah. a, a completely non-Muslim background, mm. and then they decide that they want to cover up completely for mm. some reason. You might, in a, in a year or so, I hope you don't, you might decide that everybody's so alienated against you and, and your religion that you want to cover up. That wouldn't be a reason for covering. Final, we, we, final point. Look, we all want a happier society where yeah. we can all work together, but uniformity is not equality. All right, thank you both. Thanks for watching. Click here for more This Morning videos.